on the disco lights where the bodies held each other tight. Uh, well, this album, Voracious Love, it's my third album for German Roof Records. And um, at this time, we had the luxury to use our own studio in Helsinki for recording and mixing, uh, which was a lot of fun. And um, we've been touring for, for a couple of years since the last album, and I feel personally that there has been a lot of growing since then. And um, so it was really cool to go back to the studio and make all these great new sounds and, and tell these new stories. I could say that I'm a bit of a lyric freak. I really like writing stories. And um, most of the songs, of course, they have a pretty strong female aspect. And uh, these songs are about situations between two persons. Situations where if we haven't been ourselves, then we at least know somebody who has been. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of guitar playing on this album and uh, I was also exploring a lot with open tunings and uh, I had some new ideas for guitar playing and guitar sounds as well. Well, I consider myself as a crossover artist. I like to mix blues with other styles like rock and pop, and uh, I always want the music to be in the same context with the lyrics, so they are supporting each other. And so this time I really love the fact that uh, we had more time and, and means to add little things, and, uh, and so we just went for it until we were really satisfied with everything what we wanted to say and hear. Sometimes I feel like you don't love me no more We had fantastic opportunity to bring in some people I really admire. And I had this song called Bed of Roses, which is about love that has died basically. Bed of Roses in a frozen land. And I immediately thought about Marco Hietala from Nightwish and Tarot. We come from the same city, Kuopio. And I always have been his huge fan. So it was really great honor to sing the song with him. And then I had a Pavel Lezianen from Apocalyptica playing cello for the same song, which was a really nice treat as well. We've known each other for a long time, both has gone into the business, and I've been pretty successful with the metal side and all that. And seeing Eri as a, like an old friend and coming over here to do some stuff for our album, I, I think it's, a, it's nice. If you listen to area stuff and her records, it's it's nice to have somebody from from this snowy country doing that kind of stuff. Don't you suffer anymore? Don't you suffer anymore? Well, I guess it's all about e expressing your emotions. I really want to move people with my music. Sweet Gilmore 